AstraZeneca says 79% effective against all illness, 100% effective against severe and hospitalizations. What does this mean and what might the impact be here in the U.S.? John, I think this is very good news to have another vaccine that could potentially be authorized and then be added to our arsenal. I actually think that the best news about AstraZeneca is that they found no adverse events or no significant adverse events, including these blood clots that some have raised concerns about in Europe. And so I think this should be really reassuring, including to people around the world, because the AstraZeneca vaccine is seen as the world's vaccine. It's inexpensive, it's easy to store and to transport. And I think, it again, it, it adds to our potential supply here in the U.S. The timing, though, is such that by the time AstraZeneca is submitted for authorization and then actually approved for use here, we probably would be into May, in which case we actually have all these other vaccines that probably would be in enough supply. So I don't think this affects us in the U.S. as much as it does worldwide. mass producing COVID-19 vaccines throughout the pandemic, the pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca has made an alarming admission. For the first time, it has admitted that its vaccines can cause a rare side effect. It is called TTS, thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome. People suffering from it, from TTS, can develop blood clots and a low blood platelet count. There are at least 52 people, in fact, who have filed cases against. So this morning, you can't feel the chill in the air. Will the approaching winter mean a new COVID surge? CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta joins us now. Sanjay, look, we've seen it before where the COVID numbers tend to go up when it gets colder and drier. What's expected this winter? Yeah, I mean, winter's coming, and with the cooler, drier weather, you, you can expect some surges no matter what. The, the big question is how big a surge uh, might they be? How big will these surges be? If you look throughout the history of the, the pandemic, John, you know, and we've tracked this, we sort of built this graph, 